starting to make real progress with her game, thanks to the help of Sean Clement, the founder of Wisdom in Golf. Wow! Anna and Sean have been working hard at Duran Golf Club in Florida, and now it's time to make sure Anna's ready to take her knowledge out onto the course. Well, I feel like I've made so much progress since being down here on the range with Sean Clement, so thank you for that. But Absolute pleasure. As I think about heading out onto the course, yep. I can't stop myself thinking what happens if I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable over the ball or, right. you know, just not feeling, feeling right. Exactly. So a lot of you um, get out on the golf course and you're standing over a ball yeah. and you're thinking something doesn't feel right. I don't know what it is. And we, we say, well, get out of the situation and, and walk back in. Mm -hmm. So we talked about extreme references before in right. our previous segments. Yeah. So there are four things in your setup that can prevent you or short circuit you, prevent you from going to the target. Okay. So if you feel that your contact is not going to be adequate, you can't go that way. You've got to go that way. Yeah. If you feel that your direction is going to be inadequate, you can't go that way. You got to go that All way. All the focus is down there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I'm going to I'm going to show you again how we do this with Gold Goldilocks. Now, okay. just to recap with the driver, yes. the distance between you and the ball. Mm -hmm. I've got my trusty ball on a string. Okay. So if I give this this ball a twirl, this is basically a golf swing. So the ball would be like a club head. Mm -hmm. The string would be the shaft and the arms. Yeah and where it's connected would be my shoulders. Okay. So you notice the blur of this ball right now. If I wanted to clip the tee with this, my brain says, well, you're too close, get further away. Yeah. That's what we had to do with your driver. Yeah. You're too high, get a little close, a little down. Mm -hmm. There you go. There it is. So you see how accurate that is. Uh -huh. So now that I see where the ball wants to pass, it's easy for me to find my distance. Okay. So what we had you do is do a practice swing, mm -hmm to see where the club wanted to pass. So let's say we're gonna hit a shot from here and our intermediate point is there. So do a practice swing right next to the tee and let's yeah. see where the club wants to cut grass. Okay. Did you see where that passed? Mm, yeah, it was about there, I think. Beautiful, so now how do you bring that to the tee? Uh, a little bit Together, with exactly. Yeah. So now if you made the same swing, you're literally gonna cut the tea, right? Yeah. So, okay, let it cut the tea now. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. So notice you clip the tea. Now, if I wanted to hit the shot and make the ball go over that intermediate point toward those lights, yeah. show me a setup where you would feel way too far from the ball. Okay. Uh, and reach for it. There. So, yeah, so could you cut the stem of that dandelion yeah. that way with a nice whip and stay in balance. No, no. I'd topple. Right. And obviously it'd be very difficult for you to have a solid contact, right? Mm -hmm. So now come way too close to the ball. Remember how close you were before? Yeah. So now you wouldn't be able to use your ball on a string. The ball is all bunched up. Yep. So where would you stand to feel like you could swing freely? I'd be about there, I think. Right. So now you feel like you could cut through the stem and go over that spot. Yeah. So that's one of four. Okay. Number two, ball position. Mm -hmm. Show me a ball position that'd be way too far forward. Right. <laughs> so could you cut through the stem and have the ball go over that intermediate point from there? Yeah, so I'd be doing that. Right. So without the target, you wouldn't be able to tell what ball position to use. Yeah, okay. Play the ball way too far back in your stance. Yeah. So doesn't that feel now that the ball's going to go way right of that intermediate point? Definitely. And for you to go over the intermediate point, you would have to reach back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So show me a ball position that would allow you to go over the intermediate point. Yep, about there. So the distance between you and the ball and the ball position allows you to go that way. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. two. Yep. The third one is your levels. Notice when sometimes you've got the ball way below your feet. Mm -hmm. and you're not sure if you're low enough or, you know. Yeah, what to do with the grid. Right, or the yeah. ball above your feet. Yeah. So what you're going to do is set the club up about this high above the ball and do a couple of practice swings. Okay. Right above it. Good. So if you were to whip the club over that spot toward the target from here, go ahead, uh -huh. set up, you know for a fact you're going to miss the ball. Mm -hmm. So lower the club to the middle of the ball. Yes. So if you make the same swing, you're topping it. Yeah. Lower to the grass. If you make the same swing, you're cutting a dandelion stem. 
Therefore, Definitely. you got solid contact. Yeah. Get way lower than that now. Yeah. If you make the same swing, you're digging. Yeah. Come yeah, on back yeah. up. So now you feel that ball position, distance to ball, and levels are excellent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you feel comfortable? Yeah, I do, okay. yeah. Okay, last is your grip. Remember the grip? Yeah. So if you cut through the dandelion stem like that, way open. That's gonna In slice. that direction, yeah. you know for a fact the ball can't go there. Yeah. If you swung through the dandelion stem in that direction from there, you happen. know it's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So which one would allow the ball to go in that direction? Right there. Perfect, so it's just come mass on. just method of elimination. Yes, basically. so those four things. So yeah. what happens is, you'll step over the ball and you'll say, I feel uncomfortable. Ask the brain, hey, is it ball position? Mm -hmm. No, that's good. Distance the ball. Yeah, I feel a little close, hang on. That's way too far, that feels better. Yeah. And right away, you'll be able to tell, and then you'll be able to get yeah. back into the comfort yeah, zone. Yeah, you're right. Pushing all the extremes because yes. you realize where the comfortable level is. And that's what you do on the, on the range. So yeah. when you're practicing on the driving range, the way I like to do it is I like to play little nine holes of golf. Okay. Okay? So let's say... We're going to hit it. What's, what's your favorite golf course near, near where, you, where you live? Uh, well, I play at Centurion, which is okay. a nice club. Yeah. What's the first hole? Oh, it's tricky. A dog leg left, actually. It's tricky. What do you need off the tee? I normally take a hybrid. A hybrid. Okay. Yeah. So let's say we take a seven iron. Okay. So we got seven iron here. And the target would be what? Uh, seven you need to, iron. So you basically need Probably. to go straight out and then you're going left? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's go toward those lamp posts there. Come on back here. Okie dokes. So the first thing we need is a flight plan. Yes, we I want to go toward those lights, little draw. Okay. Now that you know how to draw, my, why not? <laughs> so we're going to aim over that intermediate point. Mm -hmm. And all we have to do now is cut grass okay. slightly to the right of that intermediate point with a slightly closed face. Okay. Okay. So do you feel comfortable? Yeah. I What's do. a good whip with low effort feel like? And then you're going to cut through the stem that way with that. Okay. Awesome. Well, now you're, yeah. now you're going straight in that direction. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? So, so that would leave you with what? Let's say if you hit a hybrid, nice and solid yeah, that in that direction. that would leave me with kind of like a, a, a seven iron onto Perfect. the green. So yeah. you got your seven iron. And let's say we're going toward those two lights, right yep. over that intermediate point. Yep. Good miss. Yeah, so, that was a good miss. So were you swinging in that direction with a nice whip? Uh, do you know, with that one, I think I actually, um, too much, too much force. It was, you're meant to be about three on effort. I think it was about six on effort. There. Okay, so. The but at last... least I'm now recognizing. Yeah. Yeah. So let's examine the, the most important moment of your golf shot. Yeah. When you're standing over the ball getting ready to pull the trigger, what's going through your mind? Um, so many things. <laughs> so too many things. Right. So what, what should go through your mind? So in your brain, there's a, a little section called the premotor cortex. Mm -hmm. Its sole purpose is to get your, your central nervous system ready to perform a task. Right. I'll give you two different tasks. Okay. You're gonna hold the club as hard as you can, <laughs> and you're gonna hit the ball as hard as you can. Right. Can you feel the tension in the body? Yeah, I hate And how it. we just split a rib. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Second task, you're gonna feel the weight of your instrument like a machete. You're gonna use the weight of the instrument to effortlessly whip through the stem in the direction you want the ball yeah, to go. That's the one. Did you feel the difference? You didn't move a muscle there, mm -hmm. and through my description... You already, yeah, of course you can. It's, the first one is horrible, and when you get yes. a bit stressed and you feel like you're not playing too well, you yes. fall into the trap of the first one. Exactly. Yeah. So you fall into the trap of don't go here, don't go there, don't make a mistake, yeah. as opposed to I want to go there, and how do I want to go there? Oh, yeah, a good swing feels whippy and effortless. Mm -hmm. So you got to keep telling your brain what you want. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you didn't have that over the previous shot. No, I didn't. I didn't. So, so you know what I say to that? <laughs> I say, good shot. Good shot, yeah. Right. So because that's, you had chaos, you get chaos. Yeah. So the next, let's say, it would leave you short of the green, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, if, you, if that didn't roll over the back, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so then you'd, you'd play a chip shot? Yeah, a little chip. And at the, end of the, at the end of that nine holes, you say, okay, out of those nine holes, mm -hmm. what kind of putts would I be left with? And you go to the putting green and putt out those nine holes and see, what you, see how you do. Yeah, okay. So, so this would be the little we, chip. Yeah, so we have a, a flight plan. Mm -hmm. We have an intermediate point that leads you into the flight plan. Yeah. And then we have a feel that you plug into the flight plan. Yes. You say, when I feel that nice effortless whip in that direction, I feel that, it, that I'm going to get a good result. Mm -hmm. So then you become really good at the process and you'll see things start to materialize. Yeah. Okay. The most important stat in golf is how many in 36 holes, like 18 holes, you get 36 full swings. Yeah. How many of those 36 full swings did you actually stay with what you wanted? Yeah, yeah. Or did you let fear take over? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you realize, oh, I really don't have to really worry about the technique part of it. Well, let's get the setup sorted with the picture. Okay. So out of 36 full swings, you should be able to set up comfortably now to all of those. And then you need to recall, say, okay, what do I need to send over there? Oh, yeah, yeah, that nice effortless whip effortless in that whip. direction. Mm -hmm. So let's see you finish with a nice one. Okay. No effortless pressure. Effortless whip. <laughs> yeah, the grand finale. So do a little practice swing. Yep. So that feel like a nice whip? It was a whip. Good. Yeah, it felt loose. Perfect. So through the stem that way with that feel. Nice, all right. Yeah. So notice that's coming out a lot better. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. last thing, when you slash that, notice that ball went a little to the right. Yeah. Did you feel that you were kind of guiding that a little bit? Probably, that, right? but that's just, you know, 20 years of playing golf right. that way. 20 years of be careful, <laughs> watch out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so when you slash the sword, Feel where your right hand, we call it pronation, it's an inward rotation yeah. of the hand. Yeah. It's the same. Do you ever play tennis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me a tennis serve. So imagine the bamboo shoot is growing horizontally above the ground here, mm -hmm. and you're going to cut through that bamboo. Yeah, yeah. It's there, isn't, isn't that a tennis serve? Yeah. yeah. What happened to your right hand after you cut? Yeah, it just flexes down. Exactly. It? Yeah. So do the same thing here. Good. Do you feel a nice heft yeah. through the slash. I mean, it's quite satisfying. But... Beautiful. <laughs> That's what golf is supposed to I be. I have no idea what was going to happen if I tried. Please, let's give it a go. So your eyes are there. Mm -hmm. You're going to feel a wonderful slash through the grass. Okay. Bingo. Bingo, baby. That so as nice soon as we nice. gave it direction, boom, you're right there on those lights. Now you're yeah. putting for birdie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually, I don't think I've ever struck a 7.9 quite that far before. It's right? really nice, yeah. And that was a little thin. Yeah, You didn't even flush thin. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're starting to really gather some momentum and your body is now is, is doing exactly what a human body is supposed to do. Yeah. Is wonderful action of that kinetic chain. Mm -hmm. You watch any baseball pitcher, martial artist throwing a punch, a boxer, you'll see that kinetic chain that I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I see. And I it's see. not by being careful that you're going to have performance. Mm -hmm. Performance doesn't come with carefulness. It comes carefree. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I'm, I'm... That is a bit of a penny drop moment for me, I think. All right. Yeah, nice. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank we'll, you we'll so tabs. much. And we'll keep tabs. We'll keep tabs. Yes. We have covered so much in these episodes, and uh, I really appreciate it because you've given me a whole different perspective on the goal swing, and it's been fascinating. Good. So I'm glad you enjoyed you, it. And hopefully it has helped you all at home as well. All the best.